welcome back to Soul Food. Today we'll be reading Exodus 31. And as always, it is my prayer that Yahusha, our Adonai's example, continue to be our guide, and the Ruach HaKodesh put his words in our mouths and in our hearts, that we honor his word with our actions to give glory unto him this day and always. With that, here we go. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Bezaliel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Yehuda. And I have filled him with the spirit of Yah, in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship, to devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahisamah, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. And the tabernacle of the congregation, and the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle and the table, and his furniture, and the pure candlestick with all his furniture, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering with all his furniture, and the laver and his foot, and the clothes of service, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office and the anointing oil, and sweet incense for the holy place. According to all I have commanded thee, shall they do. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yahuwah that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to Yahuwah. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days Yahuwah made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave unto Moshe when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of Yah.